Hi guys! So I'm making this video for a special group that needs to stretch um, the hip flexors and all those muscles around the legs and um, that wrap around the hips. So like the psoas muscles. So let's go ahead and get started. I hope you enjoy this class and get to open up your body in a nice, safe way. Thank you again for joining me. Um, so let's go ahead and begin uh, laying down on the mat. We're going to place our spine nice and long here. Our feet are going to be slightly together as we try to bring those knees in close to our chest. So gently, we're going to grab our hands and place them as we try to rotate outwards and then inwards with our knees. So create small circles here. And just begin to bring your awareness to your breath as you try to relax your spine, all your muscles. Maybe change slightly the direction and just begin to notice. Notice how it feels one way and then the other way. Come back and just hug it in with your arms, hug your legs, create a nice circle here. Slowly and gently, we're gonna place those feet together and open up to Supta Baddha Konasana. That's the name of this pose. So we're just gonna open up our knees. You may place something underneath your knees. If this is a little too much for you, you can place some blankets or pillows. But just try to take a full deep breath here. Your hands can be by your hips, maybe by your thighs. Or even you can just open up your arms overhead. I want you to just begin to come internally. And this is about opening up and finding the strength within stillness, finding openness within our whole body, within the areas of tightness. Sometimes we don't even notice those areas. So try to breathe in, and as you notice those areas of more tension in your body as you get to know it a little bit more. Try to send that breath into that direction. So I'm gonna breathe in and envision that I'm sending my breath towards the hips, towards the low spine, the lumbar spine, maybe by the shoulders, trying to release them here. And just try to set an intention for your practice. An intention to just let go easier and just open up, to breathe easier and find that strength within the breath. The breath can be always so powerful. So let's just begin gently opening those eyes, bringing those hands by your knees. One more circle here, stretch your arms nice and long, begin to activate those core muscles. Finding stability here within the back, within the spine, within the ribs. And then gently just release your feet down, hip width apart. We're gonna stretch that left leg all the way down, maybe point at your toes, if that feels good, as you find that flexibility within you. Breathe in, interlace your hands within in that right leg. So breathe in, maybe you can flex that right foot and try to bring that right knee closer to your right um, shoulder. Remember, we're trying to square the hips here by bringing that right hip slightly down, left hip, uh, closer to our left shoulder. So breathing in, navel to spine as we exhale. Try to feel like somebody's stretching your whole spine from your tailbone all the way up into the crown of the head. On your next exhale, take a twist by bringing that left hand on top of the right knee and then allow it to gently come into the side. 
The twist has to be coming from the thoracic spine. So open up that right arm, maybe bending it at a 90 degree angle, your cactus arm on the right arm. Breathing in. And then as we exhale, we try to rest that right shoulder a little bit deeper here. Breathing in. And breathing out. Try to focus on releasing the tension around the shoulders and then allowing the weight of the right thigh, of the right leg to pull down your spine, your hips, and take you into a deeper twist here. Come back to neutral pose. Bring that right knee in. And then bend that left knee. We're going to bring our right ankle on top of the left knee, creating that figure four shape, breathing in. And then as you breathe out, go ahead and interlace your fingers on your inner thigh or on top of the left shin. So flexing that right foot, notice how your knee feels here. Be gentle with your body as you allow your hamstrings, your thighs to open up. Breathing in. And breathing out. Breathing in. Remember, with, e with every inhale, we try to lengthen the spine. And then we every exhale, we sigh it out, we let go. And we try to take that left knee a little bit deeper towards the chest, towards the heart. Release from the pose. Bring that right foot to meet the left foot. And then gently begin to stretch that right leg. Bring your left knee in, breathing in. And then begin to flex your left foot or dorsiflex, bringing those toes towards the shin. Take a full deep breath, lengthen, extending the spine, and then take your twist, allowing the whole left side of your body to open up as you release towards the mat, towards the earth. And then you open up with your left hand or left arm, bending it at a 90 degree angle. Remember, come back to your shoulders first to then allow the breath and the weight all combined here to allow you to release and find more flexibility, breathing in. Spiraling up that breath and then exhale. Let it go all the way down towards the pelvis, towards the sit bones. Bringing that navel closer to the spine. Just enjoying this simple movement. allowing your spine to be energized here. Come back to neutral pose, bend that right knee, and then let's place our left ankle on top of the right knee, creating that figure four, breathing in. When you're ready, interlace your fingers, breathe in. Maybe it can be on your thigh, on your inner thigh, or on the top of your shins, breathing in. And breathing out, sigh it out maybe through the mouth this time. This allows you to move internally, not only externally, but we want to go internally. So breathe in and breathe out, sigh it out. Breathe in. Just allowing yourself to listen to your own breath. This is healthy, allowing you to revitalize, re-energize. And when you're ready, just let go of that left foot. When you should wipe your knees from side to side, noticing the mobility that you're creating um, around the hips. Wonderful. We're going to come back 
to that right ankle on top of the left knee to that figure four shape. As we inhale, we're gonna lengthen our arms overhead once again. As we try to bring those shoulders close to each other, we flex that right foot. We're gonna inhale, try to elevate and lift up those hips higher towards the sky. Breathing in. And as you breathe out, release your hips down and bring those arms right by your legs, engaging the core. Stay here for one breath. And then release, open up, inhale, lengthen all the way through the hands, through the hips, elevating them high into a bridge, breathing in. And then as you breathe out, release your hips and come back towards those arms, towards your legs. One more time, inhale, lengthen, elevate. And then exhale, activate those core muscles. Try to feel like somebody's pushing you forward towards the front of the mat. And then release. Switch it up, left ankle on top of the right knee. When you're ready, you can lengthen your arms. Stay here if you feel comfortable. Try to bring those shoulders close to each other. Flexing that left foot, protecting the knee. Elevate nice into a bridge. Soften your breath and find the power of the breath and stillness at the same time. As you exhale, release arms towards the legs, engaging the core. Inhale, breathe in. Find stability through the whole torso. Inhale. And then exhale, arms by your legs. One more time, inhale, lengthen. I want you to feel and notice your left hip opening. Exhale, arms forward. Release back down. Windshield wiper your knees from side to side. Good job, guys. Let's move gently, mindfully. Come back to center. And then we're gonna gently um, cross our feet and we're gonna rock forward and back. Make this as playful as you'd like. You can find your help with your hands or maybe without the hands, just all the way forward and then come all the way up slowly as you can. Shift your body, your heart forward and then step it back into a nice tabletop. As we are here, inhale and arch your back as you press your fingers down. So rooting through your finger pads, through the top of your feet. Try to open your heart and broaden your collarbones. Inhale, gaze up. Arch your back, shoulders closer to the hips. And then exhale, push down through the fingertips. And then bring that chin towards the chest. Inhale, arching. And then exhale. Notice the connection all the way from your finger pads down through the spine into your toes. Inhale once again. Shoulders are closed and back towards the tailbone. And then exhale. Push it down. Engage the core navel to spine. Come back down. Tuck the toes. And then lift up slightly. Hover your knees down. Try to create a nice flat back here, breathing in. When you're ready, step that right leg back, keeping that left knee hovering, activating, While stretching, come back, continue hovering, left leg back, engaging the glutes and pressing firmly, allowing those wrists to be uh, stacked under their shoulders. Come back. Inhale, arch your back. Exhale, round it up. And release to your child's pose, Balasana. Bringing those knees nice and wide, feet together here. So big toes touching. Allow your chest, your heart to come down. 
as well in here you can place something to support you if your hips are feeling a little tight still just allow this to be a gentle move for you you can come to this pose at any time uh, during this whole practice so find child's pose as your to-go pose whenever you need it just take it and here we're gonna press the forehead down into the mat into the earth if you find that this feels good for you. You want to take it a little deeper, being mindful of your neck, as long as you don't have any troubles or problems with your neck. Just go ahead and maybe place your chin down, gazing forward. I want you to notice the subtle movements here of your breath, of the strength, as you slowly continue opening those hips, externally rotating the hips, lengthening the spine here, lengthening your forearms all the way through into your fingers as you're abducting, uh, abducting those fingers a little more. So separating them, engaging them. They want more full deep breaths. Coming back to your intention to find that openness. And then gently bring those hands underneath your shoulders. And we're gonna slightly bring your knees in. This is only to feel more support. If you feel comfortable, you can keep them nice and open. But I'll start like this and I'll open it, them up. So right arm all the way up. As you exhale, thread the needle and bring that right arm underneath you. The right shoulder comes down. You could play something if you feel this is too much. If you feel comfortable opening up your knees, go ahead and do so. And then allow that right shoulder to drop down with the left arm overhead towards the front of the mat. Breathe in and try to square your hips here. And then bring that left hand underneath the left shoulder, right arm all the way up. And then release that right hand down. Left arm up, breathing in, stretching like somebody's pulling you up. Make this as more as active as you can. So exhale, thread the needle, place that left hand underneath your body and then release gently into that left shoulder, right arm overhead. You can stay on your fingertips. Maybe just place down your hand, whatever you feel more comfortable. Be mindful of your breath. Be mindful of your neck as you try to gaze towards the right side or maybe underneath your, your arm, breathing in. Try not to lift the right hip. We want to bring that right hip down, left hip slightly up so you can level the hips. Come back to neutral. Inhaling that left arm and then exhaling back to center. Arms forward, tuck the toes and come into your first inversion of the day, your downward facing dog or Adho Mukha Svanasana. We always want to find alignment first. So first, find your alignment. So hands are shoulder width apart, and then your feet are hip width apart. Bending one knee, bending the other knee. The main thing here is not to stretch the legs. That comes with the practice. So be mindful, be patient. The main thing is to stretch the spine. Allowing the spine to stretch, the rest comes. So breathe in. Inhale, lift up your hips or your heels. And exhale, release your heels down. Gliding that pelvis back, breathing in. And then exhale, navel to spine. When you're here, you're going to begin to round your spine slowly and gently as you bring your heart forward towards a plank pose, pushing up nice and 
strong here. Hit to our level. And then exhale, chaturanga. Come all the way down, keeping those elbows close to the ribs. Release your hips down into the mat. And then as your hands are here, your elbows, try to bring them close to your ribs as well. Inhale, elevate your chest, open up your heart and your collarbones. Allow them to breathe sideways. And find the connection in your spine all the way into your tailbone. As you release here, just bend your knees. Pass through child's pose. You can release on child's pose or just tuck your toes and come up into downward facing dog. Breathing in. Maybe this time gazing between your thighs or towards the navel. Taking the time here. Bend your knees, gaze forward. You can walk or hop towards the front of the mat, slowly and gently. Your feet are hip width apart. Same here. We're not trying to lengthen our legs first. We're trying to stretch the spine. Inhale, halfway up, Ardha Uttanasana, or hands on your shins, breathing in. And then exhale, fold forward. Allow the crown of the head to shoot down towards the earth. And then gently inhale, come all the way up, opening up those arms, tucking the tailbone slightly in as your hands are all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Breathing in, inhale, open up those arms once again. And let's try to make this a little bit fun here for you guys. Inhale. And begin to push that right arm forward, abducting your fingers. So spread them nice and wide, breathing in, squaring your hips. Push forward and push up with the left hand. And then come back up. Slowly, gently reach high up with the right hand and then left hand forward. Push it forward. Notice the engagement within the left side of your body, all the way connected into the left leg. Come back up, inhale, stretch high up, and then exhale, fold forward with your hands nice and wide. Inhale, halfway up, your hands can be on your shins or right here, right in front of your toes. And then exhale, fold forward. Plant your hands and step it back. Downward facing dog. Good job, guys. This is also another base pose to release any anxiety, any stress. It's a wonderful pose. Your inverted V stretches everything in your body. So just take a moment to take a full deep breath. Full deep breath out. Gently bring your feet together. Inhale, lift up the right leg. Level up your hips. So squaring your hips down towards the mat. Even out the weight on your shoulders. You're on three-legged dog. Breathing in. Notice the length you're creating between that left heel all the way up into that right toe. And then gently bend your right knee, opening up to scorpion tail. You're externally rotating your left or your right hip. So breathe in. And then begin creating those circles. So the knee comes in and then out. Three circles. We're on two. One more. Mm -hmm. And then three. Inhale, lift up right leg. As you exhale, right knee to right elbow. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, right knee to left elbow. Inhale, all the way up. And then right knee to chest. Stay here, hold it for one breath. And then release that right foot down. Breathing in. Left knee down, come into your Anjaneyasana. Tuck the back foot. In Anjaneyasana, your low lunge, you always want to find alignment between that right ankle and the knee. So breathe in. You might be here. Remember, be gentle with that left thigh as it continues to open up. 
your hips, not hurting your body. This is all about honoring your body as it opens up with time. So gently try to root down through your feet, through your hips, and then extend your spine, releasing those shoulders away from the ears. Stay here. Inhale. Open up arms. Lengthen nice and long. Grow nice and tall. And then exhale. Hands to heart center. Tuck slightly the pelvis in. Navel to spine. Breathe in and breathe out. Take a twist towards the left side or towards the right side, bringing that left elbow on the outside of the knee. So if you're here, you might just be gazing towards the right side, maybe gazing all the way up. But at the same time, you're trying to push those hands, or Anjali hands, towards your heart. So breathing in. Remember, lengthen the spine here as you inhale, and then you exhale, taking a deeper twist. Come back to center, release your hands, and then begin to stretch that right leg all the way back, squaring your hips. Remember, and try not to try to reach with your hip down, but actually just square your hips, lengthen your spine, and then hinge from the hips down. Keeping that nice spine nice and long, gazing slightly forward, and pushing that right hip back, left hip forward. Inhale, come back up, tuck the toes, right hip back. Stick a vinyasa around your spine all the way forward into plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, this time you can come back into your cobra or all the way up into your upward facing dog. Lifting up this time your hips and your knees off the mat. Breathe in. Tucking the toes. And then exhale back into downward facing dog. Remember you're magnetizing those sit bones towards each other and then back. Gliding that pelvis back, releasing your shoulders, creating that space between the back of your neck and your ears. And then feet together when you're ready, lift up your left leg, breathe in. Find the length. Root through your fingertips. And then gently bend that left knee, open up your left hip. Continue evening out the weight with your hands. And then create those circles. Knee in and out through circles. And then one more circle. Inhale, lengthen all the way up. As you exhale, knee towards left elbow. Inhale. Exhale, knee to right elbow. Inhale. Exhale, knee to chest. Hold it for one breath. And then gently release. Place that left foot right in between your hands. Release the back knee. Untuck, come into your Anjana Asana. Find your stability. As your roots to rise, inhale. Rise with, rise with your hands, elevating them elongating your spine, the crown of your head. Exhale, hands to heart center, bringing that navel or belly button towards the spine. Inhale, and then we exhale, taking a twist towards the left side. Bring that right elbow on the outside of the left knee. And try to work your hands towards your heart as you inhale. Find the space between your rib cage. And then exhale, let it go. Find that connection between your breath and your muscles. Like It's powerful. <laughs> Come back to center. Release your hands and then push it back. Lengthen that left leg. Square your hips. And then draw that heart down. 
And in here, you may choose to just plant your hands or stay on your fingertips. This just activates more strength in your fingers. Breathing in. Breathing out. back to the front of the mat plant your hands this time and then step that left foot back round the spine this time bend your knees gaze forward begin to round your spine slowly into plank pose exhale chaturanga inhale up into cobra or upward facing dog untucking the toes stacking those arms lengthening them and then exhale, downward facing dog. Breathing in. And breathing out. Good job, guys. Notice the back of your legs stretching here. And send that breath to the back of your knees. When you're ready, feet together. Inhale, lift up, right leg, all the way up. As you exhale, knee to chest one more time. Then exhale, plant your right foot down. Come high up into your crescent moon pose. So all 10 toes are facing forward. If you notice the back of my foot, it's elevated. And I'm on the ball of the back foot. So inhale, lift up arms all the way up. The right knee is nice and aligned with the right ankle. And then exhale, open up into cactus arms, bending your arms, arching your back, lifting up your gaze. Inhale, elevate, elongate your arms. And then as we exhale, we try to push that left hand forward, just like we did before. Breathing in. And then breathing out, exhale. Release your hands, plant your hands. Keep that left hand planted. As we take a twist, elevate that right arm up. Come back to your twist. Notice that right thigh wanting to elevate here. As you exhale, bring that right arm behind you. Notice what's happening between that left hamstring. It's all connected. Gaze towards that right hand. Inhale, come up. Exhale, plant your hand. Good job. And then step that left foot forward. We're going to cross our feet here. If you notice, I'm placing my left foot behind my right foot. Breathe in. Make sure this is not too much for you. You can always just stay like this on your fold forward. Inhale. And then exhale. Fold forward. Notice what's happening alongside the hips. Feels amazing, but be gentle. Inhale. Release that left foot to the left side. Halfway up. Exhale. Plant your hands and step back into downward facing dog. Feet together, inhale, lift up your left leg. Exhale, knee to chest, hold it. And then plant your left foot down. All 10 toes facing forward, come up into your crescent moon pose, powerful pose. As you sink down through the hips, you tuck the pelvis in and you stretch that back leg. Exhale, open up, cactus arms, gaze up. Working on our balance as well. Engaging and activating our feet. Inhale, hands all the way up. And this time we push forward with the right arm. Push, push, left hand up into the sky. Notice the activation that's happening. Gaze towards that right middle finger. And then come back to hands to heart center. Exhale, plant your hands. Stay here and then take a twist, elevating your left arm up. As you stay here, exhale, left arm back. Inhale up. 
and then release. Step that right foot forward behind your left foot, crossing your feet. Inhale, exhale, fold forward. Always micro bending your knees. Inhale. Release from the pose, your feet back to normal. And then exhale, plant your hands and step back to downward facing dog. If you would like to take a break here, you can always open up the knees and come back into your balasana pose. Forehead down into the mat. You can maybe gently isolate the, the stretch on your left hip by bringing that right hand to the right side, left hand on top of the right wrist. And then gently try to gaze towards the right side, breathing in. Rooting down through the left hip. Do the same thing on the left side. So left arm to, all the way to the left, right arm or right hand on top of the left wrist. Try to gaze towards the left side. Release that right cheek down. And isolate the stretch through the right hip. Come back to center. Bring your knees in, heart forward. Tuck the toes. Bend your knees. Round the spine. Bend your knees once again. Hover through the mat. And then pelvis back. When you're ready, gaze forward. Bend your knees. You can walk or maybe hop this time towards the front of the mat. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold. Bring your feet together. Big toes touching. When you're ready, inhale. Come all the way up with that right leg. Stabilizing through the left foot. And then bring that right leg towards your chest. Left hand on your left hip. Tucking or try to flex that right foot. Breathing in. Create a nice circle here. And as you open up, just open up that right hip. Right knee out into the side. Maybe gaze towards the left side. It's all about control, so come back to your breath. Be gentle. If you get out of the pose, come back to the pose. Take your time. Come back to center. Hands to heart center. Slowly creating that T-shape as you elongate that right leg forward or back and then heart forward. Micro bending that left knee as much as you need to. And then step that right foot back. First, at a 45 degree angle, squaring the hips forward, tucking the tailbone in and descending it down. Inhale, hands up. And then as you exhale, open up. Pivot the back foot at a 90 degree angle to be parallel to the back of the mat. And then come into warrior two, a bit of Andrasana two. Feeling like a warrior as you gaze forward towards that left middle finger. Aligning your arms with the shoulders. Noticing that left knee is coming in. Bring it slightly out. And then gently flip your front palm. Reach forward and then bring it back into your peaceful warrior. If you're here, you want to take it further, push with that right hand. Exalted warrior. Push, push forward. Feeling strong. And then as you exhale, move your body with your breath. Stretch that left leg. You can bring that right foot slightly in and come into extended triangle pose. Releasing that left hand into your ankle or right in front of your ankle. Inhale, create all those triangle shapes within your body, especially engage the bottom side of your torso, the left side, breathe in. And then breathe out, release that right hand down. We're gonna slightly pivot this foot to come into a side lunge, supporting ourselves with our hands. Notice 
the right hamstring that it's not too much for you. Take your time breathing in. And then as you slowly breathe out, gently come into the right side. As you move your body, your hips up, this time you're gonna pivot your feet to be parallel to each other. And then your, your tailbone is, goes up towards the sky, same as the sit bones. As you plant your hands, inhale, halfway up. Lengthen the spine first, and then exhale, fold forward. Crown of the head shoots down. Remember, you are controlling. You are supporting your body as you sit bones. Try to move up. This is always too much for you. Just bend your knees and create that buoyance within your body. Inhale, halfway up. And then gently pivot towards the front of the mat. As you're here, your hands are on the right side. Your left foot stays on the left side of the mat. Release the back knee, coming to lizard lunge. So my left foot is coming into the knife edge of my foot. So the outside edge. And then I'm allowing the hips to sink down. I'm allowing my whole body, my weight to rest and to create this um, stretch. So breathe in. Allow the left knee to just hang heavy. If you've done this pose before, you feel like this is comfortable for you, you can always come into your forearms. Be gentle as you square your hips. Slowly lengthen your arms once again. And then plant that left foot first, tuck the back foot, lift up your knee, and we're gonna jump towards our squat pose. So bring that right foot all the way forward, slightly jumping here, and then come into squat pose. So my feet, my toes are out and my heels are in. As I find something, if you have a block to support you here through the hips, you can always place it here underneath your hips. But if you're here, basically we want to create a deeper stretch. So lengthen that right arm to the side, left arm all the way up. Breathe in. Slowly and gently bring your hands, plant your hands and lift up your hips halfway up. Exhale, fold. Plant your hands, step it back. Take a full deep breath. Full deep breath out, side out. Bend your knees, begin to round your spine, create that plank shape, and then hover your knees, arch your spine, shift your hips back. And then as you bend your knees, once again, gaze forward. You can hop or walk towards the front of the mat. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold. Feet together, big toes together. Nice and firmly as you bend your knees, come all the way up with that left leg. Left foot this time, right hand on your right hip. Left hand right in front of your left shin. Breathing in. Dorsiflexing your toes towards the shins. Slowly create a nice circle through that left hip, left leg, and open up to the left side. Try to bring that left leg to be at a 90 degree angle and maybe gaze towards the right side. Breathing in and breathing out. Come back to center, hands to heart center, and then squaring your hips, 
Shift your heart down. Draw that left leg back, push back, bend that right knee, and then step back at a 45 degree angle. Warrior one, inhale, squaring your hip, bring that right hip back. Navel to spine, relax your shoulders, gaze up maybe. And then open up to warrior two. Notice the back foot pivoting, just protecting the knee. And making sure my right knee is not coming in, but it's nice and in line with that right middle toe. Breathing in. Feeling like a warrior. Breathing out. Flip that front palm. Shift forward, hip back. And then exhale. Peaceful warrior. Breathing in. Breathing through that right side body. Maybe pushing forward with your left hand. And then move your body with your breath. Stretch that right leg. Maybe bringing that left foot slightly in to support you a little bit better. And then create your triangle shape. Utita Trikonasana. So allow this right hand to come into that right um, ankle or right in front of your right ankle. Breathing in. Shift that right hip forward, left hip back. Engage the right side of the torso. Inhaling, not hanging. Inhaling and engaging, reaching up. And then exhale. Release that left hand down. Pivot slightly in to come into your side lunge. Breathing in. Breathing out. If you're here, you feel like you have the support. Again, be mindful of your hamstrings. Be slowly and gentle with your body. Maybe this time you come to hands to heart center and you find the strength to push yourself all the way into the left side. Coming into the back of the mat, breathing in. And breathing out, release your hands down. We're gonna pivot our feet. Once again, pivot your feet parallel to each other. Plant your left hand down underneath your heart, right hand all the way up. We're going to twist while leveling the hips. Try to square your hips first, then twist from your thoracic spine, your, your mid spine. Breathing in. And then breathing out, switch out your hands, right hand down underneath your heart, and then left arm up. And then I focus on my hips, leveling. Then breathing, sit bones towards each other, and then exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway up, and then shift towards the front of the mat. Come into your lizard lunge, moving that right foot to the right side of the mat, releasing the back knee, and then coming into the knife edge of the right foot, allowing that right knee to be gentle and to be slowly heavier and heavier through that right hip as it stretches. Breathe in. If you've done this before, you wanna come deeper. Just come into your forearms. Again, elongating and just spreading your collarbones sideways. Try to bring your rib cage towards the midline every time you exhale. When you inhale, we energize internally. And then we exhale. Gently bring your hands back underneath your shoulders. And then we're going to tuck the back foot. We're going to place that right foot nice and firmly as we lift up the back knee. And we're going to jump towards our squat pose once again. Releasing our hips down. Uh, your toes go out. Your heels in. Draw them in. And then left arm over your left knee to stretch out into the side, into the left side. And then right arm up. So find that contraction between that left knee and your left forearm, your, your triceps. Breathing in, shifting those hips forward as you lengthen and create that space in your lumbar spine. 
Send that breath towards that left hamstring. And just find comfort in the, in the pose. Come back down. Pivot your feet hip width apart. Inhale. Lift up your hips. Bring your hands to interlace behind you. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold forward, crown of the head shoots down. Try to keep those palms touching. And then come back and release your hands. We're going to um, grab opposite elbows here with our hands and come into ragdoll. If you need to whiten your stance, you can do so and then try to create that buoyance within your legs, your knees. So be mindful and gently just rock from side to side, allowing the head to feel heavy here. Create that space in the back of your neck. And then inhale, release. Extend your spine. Exhale, fold. Good job, guys. So inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, open up. And just create this a little bit more fun here. Just slightly square your hips as you create this punch shape. And then switch it up, squaring those hips, creating that length in your arms. Inhale, open up. And then as you exhale, gently bring that right ankle to your knee. Create that figure four shape. Your hands can be on your hips to help you stabilize here. I want you to create that stability between that left foot. Square your hips. Hands to heart center. Breathe in. Breathe out. Good job. Release your hands. Release that right leg, and then inhale, lengthen that right leg. Come into standing splits. Remember, you can slightly bend or micro bend your left leg. Inhale, halfway up. And remember, we start here, then we slowly move our leg up. Inhale, and then exhale, nose to shin. Gently release that right foot down. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Stabilizing through that right foot. Take your time here, bending that right knee, and then left ankle comes on top of the right knee. Creating that figure four shape. Focus on your drishti here. Your drishti is where you're looking at. So try to look slightly forward or to a focal point where it's not moving. This is uh, super important in balancing poses. So find that, that focal point for you, your drishti. Breathing in. Stabilizing through the abdominals, extending the spine. You can do this. And then gently release your leg and then release your hands down. Lengthen that left leg all the way up. And then exhale. Knee closer to the heart. And then release. Feet together. Inhale. Have. Come into chair pose, bending your knees. Hinging from the hips, arms are in line with your ears, and then we exhale, slowly sit all the way down into the mat. Good job, guys. Let's bring your feet together, open up nice and wide. So the goal is not to bring your heels into, into your pelvis or into your body. It actually create that space first. Find the comfort in the pose, breathing in. 
allowing those hips to open up externally. And then as we exhale, elongate through the heart and then try to fold from your belly button down. Not from the spine. The goal is not to touch. The goal is to extend and find openness in the body. That's where the secret is. The openness in the body and then your breath allows you to become stronger in every pose. Breathing in. Breathing out. Gently come back. Bring your feet together. You can adjust your pose and yourself in the mat. Stretch your legs. Coming to Dandasana or Staff Pose. Breathing in. Hands can be alongside your hips. If this is too much for you, you can place a pillow underneath or a blanket underneath your hips. Or you can maybe place your hands behind your hips to try to extend your spine here forward. But if you're here, you're nice and comfortable, maybe your hands can be by your side or on your thighs. Bring the chin parallel to the mat. Gaze towards the horizon or towards the nose. <laughs> breathing in, breathing out. Magnetizing those sit bones towards each other. Finding the strength within the navel. Swallowing it in and up and relaxing your shoulders away from the ears. As you inhale, open up your hands. Exhale, fold forward, hinge from the hips. Allow your hands to stabilize you, to support you as you extend out your spine. And then you fold forward. Again, I'm not trying to reach with my head. I'm trying to reach with my belly down with my heart with my rib cage towards the legs breathe in create energy exhale let go inhale come all the way up and then bend your knees we're going to Sit between your tailbone and your sit bones. And then open up your arms, lengthen, come into a low boat here, and relax all the way down into the mat. As we're here, bring that right knee close to you. Once again, dorsiflexing that right foot. You can stay here um, if you felt like this was a little too much. You feel comfortable with the pose. Bring your peace fingers, that's your index finger and your middle finger, to grab your big toe. So if you're here, you notice that the right um, arm is inside the right knee. So bring it in. And try to open that right hip. The hip flexors are activating. Breathing. And then helping that range of motion. If you have more flexibility here, you can play around extending that right leg. Just make sure that this is where you're at. Breathing in. Left hand, it's on my left hip. If you're here, just come back to neutral. Change it up. Lengthen that right leg. Bend your left knee. Again, stay here. This is where you're at. Or peace fingers towards your big toes. Right hand on your hip. Breathing in. And then breathing out. Bringing that left knee towards the earth. As the left foot faces the sky. Breathing. Staying here. If you have that flexibility, just lengthen that left leg. Be 
gentle with your body. Release from the pose, bend your knees, bring them close to your heart, and then wrap your arms around it. Just rock from side to side. And then open up into your happy baby, so the complete pose. We're going to um, grab our hands on the outside of our feet. You can always come into your shins. These are just adjustments you do while you practice the pose. More and more, you deepen into each pose. So if you're here or if you like the peace fingers, go ahead and grab your big toes and do the same. So again, your elbows are on the inside of your knees, pushing down as you flex your feet. Rocking from side to side on your happy baby. Just playing around. If you feel comfortable enough to, or this is part of your practice, go ahead. Maybe you can stretch one leg, not both. That's going to be too much. But just one leg at a time. You can do so as well. And again, always being playful with your practice, smiling at it, what you can do, what you can't do, and just be grateful for what you can do today and what you couldn't do as well. Gently release, and then stretch into your Shavasana, the last and most important pose of yoga and of this practice. Stretching your feet towards the corners of the mat. Your palms can be facing up. And again, relaxing shoulders. Just letting go everything with your breath. Deepen your breath to find calmness and strength. Inhaling. Inflating your balloon in your belly. And then exhaling softly through the nose. Two more breaths. Try to make your exhales longer than your inhales. Exhale. Our last breath here. Breathe in for one, two, three, four, five, six. Hold for one second and exhale slowly for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You can stay here in your Shavasana or you can begin to just come into the side, into your fetal pose, stacking your elbows and your knees. Taking one more full deep breath. And then pushing yourself all the way up into your seated pose, your Sukhasana. Breathing in. And breathing out. I hope you feel rested, you feel open through the hips and your legs your spine, and you just feel revitalized, re-energized with this practice. Thank you so much for practicing and having patience with your body as well. Namaste. Bye, guys.